Who would throw a rock through an elderly woman's window? As Wally Aliou tells us, this is now an ongoing outrage on Dayton's west side. Ale? Yeah, Jack, this particular incident happened just after midnight in the Crown Point Residence Park neighborhood. But according to this police report, this is the third time in the last three weeks. And according to neighbors, this is the last time. 71-year-old Dolores Bostock will be the first to tell you this rock doesn't go very well with the rest of her decor. That's where it landed. She's so shaken up by the rock that came through her window last night that she didn't want to show her face. I thought maybe someone had broken in some kind of way because it was so loud and I jumped up. And she was in a back bedroom. My mother's here recuperating from surgery and she was on the couch. My mom could have got hit by the rock and the flying glass. She was afraid the whole night, both of us were. This lady here have had so many problems out of these same young men. They broke her windows out of her car several times. They threw bricks through her window. For what reason, I don't really know, but at least once a month, they harassing her. She lived there by herself. She called the police several times, but by the time the police get out here, the boys are long gone. Neighbors here tell me they've had so many problems in this area that some people have gone as far as putting hidden security cameras near their home. It's nothing for them to do. There's no basketball courts, no swimming pools open or nothing. They was breaking in the houses surrounding me, so I decided to put security cameras in my house. They had broke into that house a thousand times. They had shot that house up. Now Bostock, who is on a fixed income, will have to pay to replace this $300 window. They don't really care about other people. They don't care about people, period. Listen, the, the property they really don't care for. You feel violated, really. It's a terrible feeling. Terrible feeling and a terrible thing to do. Now, several neighbors told me they saw some teenagers running near the residence last night. Now, police are encouraging anyone who saw the culprits last night or any other time to call 333-COPS.